find the subarray with the largest sum. I guess you could try every single subarray, but that's going to be an n squared solution. We can keep track of the current sum. Initially, it'll be the first element. Then with the second element, we'll plus one it. But why would we want to add a positive number to a negative number? If our current sum ever becomes negative, then remove it. Now our sum is one, we add negative three, therefore we get negative two. Do it again, remove these two. Now we're at four, and then we add a minus one. Now we get another positive number two. At the same time, we were keeping track of what the max current sum was, and we'll find that it will be this portion of the subarray. Coding it up is easier than you might think. Start the result at the first element, start the current sum at zero, go through every number. If the current sum is negative, we want to reset it to zero. We can do that like this. Take the max of itself and zero. We want to update the result. Just take the max of itself and the current sum. And it works.